my government will ensure a strong defence based on the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation's common values of individual liberty, democracy, human rights and the rule of law. Its commitment to NATO will remain unshakable. It will maintain a strong armed forces, including the nuclear deterrent. To ensure that the United Kingdom's defence capabilities are matched to the changing nature of global strategic threats, my government will conduct a strategic defence review. My government will continue to give its full support to Ukraine and its people, and it will endeavour to play a leading role in providing Ukraine with a clear path to NATO membership. My government will seek to reset the relationship with European partners and work to improve the United Kingdom's trade and investment relationship with the European Union. My ministers will seek a new security pact to strengthen cooperation on the mutual threats faced by the United Kingdom and the European Union. My government will play its part in trying to secure long-term peace and security in the Middle East. It is committed to a two-state solution with a safe and secure Israel alongside a viable and sovereign Palestinian state. Later this week, my government will host the European Political Community Meeting at Blenheim Palace. The Queen and I look forward to our visit to Samoa alongside the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in October and our visit to Australia. Members of the House of Commons, estimates for the public services will be laid before you. My Lords and members of the House of Commons, other measures will be laid before you. I pray that the blessing of Almighty God may rest upon your counsels.